Hello and welcome back. Let's continue our journey together and let's see how we can identify condition indicators from data that we previously pre-processed. So condition indicators or features are fundamental to train any model for predicting maintenance applications. In particular, we will use condition indicators both to build a classification model and to build uh, a prognostics model. So let's go back into MATLAB and let's see how we can um, extract features from the data. So here we are back in MATLAB and let's reopen the uh, previous live script. So once again, we will leverage the four physical cores on our machine to speed up the features extraction process. In particular here, we use the simulation ensemble data store to extract features from all the signals that we have generated in simulation. So let's open the extract features function. And what we do with this function, we pre-allocate a table to uh, collect all the features, but mainly what we do, we call the sub function get features. And this sub function is very useful because um, it allows us to go down from time series to scalars. And this is essential to reduce the amount of data that we will work with. So the features that we extract are time domain and frequency domain. So in particular here, we have um, minimum values, maximum values, mean, variant, peak to peak, kurtosis, and so on. So we do this for all the signals in the simulation ensemble data store. And all of this is done automatically in parallel. Okay, so if we take a look at the simulation ensemble data store once again, we can see that the number of data variables has actually increased now. So this is because now we are collecting not only the uh, simulation data, but also uh, all the features. And what we get out of this um, simulation ensemble data store is a table. And this table contains a lot of columns uh, where each column is basically one of the features that we have um, extracted before. And then the number of rows is equal to the number of simulations. So of course here you only see eight rows because we're using the head function, but actually the feature data table um, contains 2,652 rows. Okay, so this is how you can extract features from MATLAB API. But actually, you could do the same also in uh, a different way, in an interactive way. You can do this by using um, an app. And this app is called Diagnostic Feature Designer. And this is an app from the Predictive Maintenance Toolbox. So what you can do from this app, you can import the data. And in particular, you can link to the simulation ensemble data store that you created before. You can uh, you know, go on and then also give a name to this. When you import the data, you can see all the data that you have um, measured in simulation, that we have motor current, motor speed, and so on. So if we activate the parallel computing option, we can actually speed up the process once again. So we click on signal trace. Um, we can see what the signals look like. In particular, uh, what we're seeing here is the current of the servo motor. And then you can zoom in a little bit. Uh, and you can see uh, if you can observe any particular pattern quickly. But from the app, you can also extract features, both in time domain and frequency domain. So for instance, let's select some features here. So the first thing that you can choose is to uh, whether you want to extract features from the current, from the speed of the motor, or maybe from the position error. So in this case, we select the current of the motor. And then you can either select all the features, or maybe you can uh, just pick some of them. So for instance, in this case, we're just interested in the mean, in the RMS, in the quartonesis, the skewness, and so on.
So once you click on OK, you will get a table. And this is the exact same table that uh, we obtained before through MATLAB API. So as you can see here, we have the table on the left. Uh, we have um, you know, not so many features because we haven't extracted more. We can quickly visualize the table. And as you can see here, we have um, a few rows and a few columns, but this really depends on how many features you want to extract. So once this is done, you can export the table to the MATLAB workspace so that you are essentially back to the point that you were before. So this is again um, a different way to extract features. In the next video, we will see how we can use these features to train a classification model for condition monitoring purposes.